Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be recreating this logo by International Conferences, Exchanges and Fairs. It's a nice use of 3D space, uh, keeping it in a 2D simple shape format. Let's go ahead and get started. We will be recreating this logo um, in four simple steps. First, we will make a square. We're going to split that square into a grid of four by four. We're going to make um, with the pen tool our own cube, um, put the stroke to I believe 10 and then set the stroke to the outside, expand it, join it, flip it over and then join, expand that, flip it over and it's going to give us our final logo. You can go ahead and download uh, this file it's in the link down below you can also go ahead and download the template of the original logo in the link down below so you can follow me just like that you don't have to download the actual logo it's just to use it as a reference so let's get started we're going to make a square roughly the same size as our logo. Doesn't have to be exact. Looks pretty good right there. Go to object, path, split into grid. Go to preview and then make it a four by four. You can add the guides now, right? I'm not gonna do that. I like to um, make them myself. So click OK, take the stroke off, right? Now it's an invisible square. Select it all hit control 5 and that's going to give us our guides you can go ahead and turn this off for now using the pen tool we are going to all we really need to make is one cube and then we're going to uh, duplicate that so start on this anchor point down here join it to this anchor point go up make sure you hold shift as you draw these anchors uh, naturally you want to go to this one right but a square actually we have to go to the middle of the next square go to the middle of the next square and illustrator does a good job of telling us where the middle is go to the middle of the next square and then join it back to the original anchor. You can go ahead and give it a stroke now so we can see it. Now, using the line tool, we are going to join this anchor to the middle. We're going to join this anchor to the middle and we are going to join this anchor to the middle I'm holding shift to get perfectly straight lines go ahead and turn off the guides for now using control and the apostrophe or, or the button next to the letter L we can turn up the stroke now I believe I used 10, but we can turn on our original, um, maybe we can go a little higher on the stroke. Never mind, let's just leave it at 10 for now. So let's turn, let's turn on our 
guides now using control and, and the apostrophe or the ellipsis. I'm not sure what they're called, the ones next to the letter L. Select your strokes in your cube. Go to object. I'm sorry, select it all. Go to the stroke menu and click on align stroke to outside. Now select it all. Go to object, expand appearance, object, expand fill in stroke. Now we are going to join this. So with all of it selected, click on the Pathfinder menu and click on Unite. Now it is one shape. Let's go ahead and change the color so we can see it better. And that's not a good color. <laughs> better. So now we are going to line up this um, cube to our original guides. And Illustrator does a pretty good job of aligning it for us. I'm not liking these colors. Um, let me go ahead and pick something darker. <coughs> okay. Um, but sometimes we need to go in there, zoom in, and fix it up really nice ourselves. Click on your cube, click the letter A. You see that there are some unnecessary anchor points um, that we can get rid of. This is just to clean up our design. Now, you're gonna grab the top right anchor point holding shift you're going to resize it and you're going to make it as big as our original guides. I like to make it a little bit smaller, zoom in there myself, make sure that, again, holding shift, that it gets right to the guides. Control zero to view your whole page. Now we are practically done. Next up, we are going to select our shape, click on the letter R. The um, just click on the letter R once, it's going to give you these cross guides. Go to the middle of our original guides, click once, go to the top anchor click with your button holding shift and alt you're going to rotate 90 degrees you can go ahead and turn off your guides for now now we are going to align this so that these shapes share the inside um, line right here select all go to pathfinder click on unite Get rid of some unnecessary anchor points here. Now you're going to hit Control C, Control F, rotate it, bring it down, and this is going to give them give us the bottom portion of our logo select all hit unite hit the letter a um, there's a little bit of unnecessary anchor points here we can go ahead and get rid of that really quickly and there we have it select all go to the pathfinder menu go to make compound shape and it is now one shape or one object let's compare it to our original logo we could have maybe made the strokes a little bit bigger I'm not complaining though 
Um, this looks pretty. Um, similar to our original logo so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys have any requests to recreate any other logos um, drop a comment down below make sure you like and subscribe for more content and i hope you guys learned something new today thank you